Welcome to Design Fusion's Solid Edge blog. This is part one of a two-part series on the Sweep Command Advanced Options. In the Fundamentals course, we teach users the Sweep Type Options and the Sweep Options of Normal and Parallel Section Alignment. These are the basic options that users need to understand and use the Sweep and Sweep Cutout commands. In this blog, we will review the advanced options that we teach in the Advanced Modeling course. Users are also introduced to the face merging options in the Fundamental course. This slide illustrates the differences between the three face merging options. Let's have a quick look at the demo used in the Fundamentals course to review these basic options. I'll use this part with four existing sketches to review the basics of the sweep command which you should have learned in Fundamentals. I'll select the sweep command and notice the option dialog appears. The first option I select is the multiple pass and cross section option. You use this option if you have more than one guide curve or one cross section. I'll leave the rest as they are and click OK. Notice that in the vertical command bar, the Select from Sketch option is set under the Pass Step header. I'll select my first sketch for the Pass Step and accept it by clicking on the green check mark or right mouse button clicking. I'll select the second sketch and accept it. Since there's no more sketches for the Pass Step, I'll click Next. The vertical command bar switches to the Cross Section Step. I'll select the sketch for my first cross section. Since this is a closed sketch, the system accepts it automatically. I then select the second cross section sketch, being careful to keep the start points in alignment. Again, the system automatically accepts this for me. I have no more cross section sketches, so I click Preview. Notice that when I hit Preview, I get an error message. When this happens, do not hit Cancel. Instead, click the Edit button, which will take you back to the vertical command bar. Select the Options button and try different options. Notice that the alignment option is set to Normal. This tells the system to keep the cross sections normal to the path curves. But since the path curves are mirror opposites, this fails to create the sweep. However, if I select the Parallel Alignment option and click OK, notice that we now have a successful swept protrusion. Also notice that each side of the swept protrusion is made up of numerous faces. I can return to the Option dialog and under Face Merging, I can select the Full Merge option. I'll click OK and this results in a single face per side. I click Finish and that completes the Swept Protrusion feature. Notice that the feature resides in the Pathfinder and you can always hide the sketches when you're finished working with them and just leave the Swept Solid feature on your screen. The additional two alignment options are used when the guide curves are different lengths. The parametric option varies the orientation of the cross-section profiles so that points on the path curves are matched according to the proportional parameter distance of the underlying path curve. This option is only available when two or more path curves are defined. Each path curve must be a single element. If the path curves you are using have more than one element, you can use the single curve option available with the derive curve command to create a single element path curve, or you can select the arc length option described on the next slide. This option can be useful when constructing swept features with two path curves and one cross section, and you want the feature to extend to the end of both path curves. The arc length option varies the orientation of the cross section profiles so that points on the path curves are matched according to the proportional arc length distance along the path curves. This option is only available when two or more path curves are defined. 
you can use path curves that consist of a single element or multiple elements. This option can also be useful when constructing swept features with two path curves and one cross section and you want the feature to extend to the end of both path curves. To demonstrate the parametric option in the sweep command, I have two sketches, one consisting of two curves for the guide curves, the second sketch is for the cross section. In the sweep command, I'll select the multiple pass and cross section option, and I'll leave the rest of the options at the default settings. I'll start by selecting the first path, which is a single element curve. I'll accept this and then select the second path, which is again a single element curve. I'll accept this and click next to proceed to the selection of the cross section. I accept the selection of the cross section and click preview. Notice the result. The swept protrusion does not extend to the end of the longer path. To remedy this, I'll return to the options and select the parametric option. Remember, the parametric option works here because the paths consist of single element curves. Thus, we get the desired results. I'll switch to another part. In this part, the path sketch contains lines and arcs instead of curves. I'll run the sweep command again and attempt to use the parametric option. Notice that if I switch to the single selection, that the path sketch is made of multiple elements. I'll switch back to chain and proceed with the selection of the paths. Once selected, I'll hit next and select and accept the cross section. When I click preview, I get this message indicating that the system cannot complete the swept extrusion. To remedy this, I return to the options and select the arc length option, which allows multiple elements in the path. As you can see, this creates the desired results. Face continuity options specify the degree of face continuity required where adjacent segments within a sweep feature meet. The tangent continuous option specifies the adjacent sweep segments are tangent and continuous but are not required to have the same radius of curvature. The curvature continuous option specifies that adjacent swept segments are tangent, continuous, and have the same radius of curvature. This imparts extra smoothness to the surfaces and can be important when creating aesthetic surfaces. To demonstrate the difference between face continuity options, I've created two swept extrusions in this part. The first model was created using the tangent continuous option. I'll switch the display to show the second swept extrusion. This extrusion is created using the Curvature Continuous option. Apart from these options, the extrusions are identical. Next, I'll add a copper color to the Curvature Continuous extrusion for an easier comparison. I'll then show both models together so you can see the subtle difference in the two swept extrusions. Notice that the curvature continuous model has a slightly extra smoothness to the surfaces. Want to learn more? Sign up to our customer portal at the website listed on this slide, where you have access to knowledge base articles, tips and tricks, how-to articles, and much more. If you need additional support, contact our support team at support at designfusion.com or call us at 1-877-215-1883.